it's a pretty disturbing epidemic. It is beyond catastrophic. Almost three quarters of you know, black children. It's at an alarming rate in the African American community. It is a crisis. It's devastating. The 72% number. 72%. 72%. 72%. 72%. More than 72% of children in the African American community are born out of wedlock. That means absent fathers. I wish I'd had a father who was around in bulk. Hello. Hello, hello. Man, you look good, baby. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Allende, and I have the beautiful Essence here. Hello, hello. Tell us about yourself. How old are you? Where are you from? I'm 25. I'm from Kansas City. I do lash extensions. Okay, let me see your lashes. I gotta see your work. I can't do them on myself. That's the thing about lash extensions. Oh, that's what it is? Yeah. So you don't know no other good lash workers? You're the best in the business? Nobody good enough to touch your lashes? To me. To yes. you. <laughs> to you. All right. like, just like a hairstyle. Step style. a little bit to the left so I can get in there. You hog it on my screen. I know you're okay. beautiful, but okay. you're taking up everything. Come on, get in. All right, so listen, before we convince your beautiful friend to come over here, she acting shy. She gorgeous, too. She actually my sister. That's your sister for real? Yeah. What's your sister's name? You want to come tell them your name? <laughs> yeah, come tell us your name. Y'all have fun. Come tell us your name. I'm going to buy you a slice of pizza. She can dance, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, wait, where y'all from? Y'all Are y'all Latin? No, we're from Kansas City. So what's your, um, like, your nationality, your ethnicity? Black and white. Really? That's special. You and your sister both black and white? Yep. Okay, so who's black, your mommy or your daddy? And my dad. Your daddy? Are you sure you're not indigenous? You look like you might be indigenous. I haven't took the ancestry test. Yeah, that's that's, that, that's not told. accurate. Everybody keeps well, saying that. It's, it's a scam. I'm, I'm sure of that, too. Yeah, it ain't real. But what I've been told all my life is that I was black and white. Ethnicity is, is really interesting, but it's also highly variable. And it's one of the things that's based on uh, statistical analysis. And I think I do want to talk about this a bit because a lot of the DNA tests are based on statistical analysis. It's not a direct test, like the BRCA is a, is a good example. If you get the full test from Myriad Genetics through your doctor, that is pretty certain. Um, but if you just get the, um, the, what's called a SNP test from 23andMe, uh, that's much more questionable. Similarly with the ethnicity testing, uh, you will get uh, uh, an analysis back from the company, whether it's Ancestry, 23andMe, MyHeritage, FTDNA, these are the main companies that do this work. Uh, they will give you an estimate of your, your ethnic background. And it could be, in my case, for example, I, I always thought it was Irish and Scottish, right? I mean, that's, you know, so many of us are. Well, you know, when I found out that I have a bit of French in there, that's kind of cool, right? That's interesting. But is that real? And that's where we're not really sure, particularly with those non-European ancestries. Uh, at the moment, virtually all of the databases are, are dominated by people of European ancestry, right? People in the U.S., Canada, Europe, they're the primary contributors. So the database has a lot of information on those uh, people, those ancestries that date back to, to Europe. But when we start looking at people with African ancestry, Asian ancestry, and so on, the data is not quite as reliable because the numbers just aren't there. And there's a lot of intermixing, intermarriages that, that blend the DNA from these different groups. And crucially, what's most important is that what divides uh, an Irish descendant from an African person is such a tiny fraction of our genome. I mean, all humans are 99.9% .9 identical in their DNA base. So we're looking at, at one base in a thousand potential difference between the two most diverse people on the planet. So we have to parse out that and then try to make an interpretation um, based on statistical frequencies. How often does this particular one in a thousand base occur in these populations uh, in Ireland as opposed to the Gold Coast? And there is no DNA that is unique to any ethnicity. So there's no, no marker that we can look at and say, okay, this person carries this particular DNA sequence, therefore they must be Irish and nothing else. Everybody overlaps all around the world. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna ask you about, right? Go ahead. No, I'm saying, do you know what, what I'm gonna ask you? What questions I'm gonna ask you? Relationships, though. Okay, good. So are you single, married, dating, divorced, bi-curious? What's, what's going on? I'm in a relationship. What's the ring? Just a relationship. <laughs> okay. All right, so how long have you been in this relationship? About a year. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Come on. Okay, so you're, you're how old? 
25. 25. Okay. And the boyfriend is how old? 28. Okay. So he's a man. That's yes. a man friend. Yes. And where'd you guys meet at? Uh, we met in high school. Wait. So you had met previously in high school? Mm-hmm. And so what took so long? Uh, we dated around in high school too, but as a grown person, we kind of double backed again. So wait, you got back together? Yeah. Why you leave that part out? You was like a year. Well, this is a, an adult relationship. That was a key okay, relationship. Okay, so hold on, hold on. We know, we know everybody thinks that the dating options out there are trash. Right. So what made you rally back? Because you went back. You said, oh, shit, let me go back. Let me uh, go back to... <laughs> what made me go back was yeah. the, the growth that I seen. It in was, him? Yeah, in him. Ah, so you so agree yeah. that... Well, hold on. But he was always older than you, though. He was always older than so, me. So how could you be in high school at the same time? He was a senior and you were a freshman? Yes. Okay, I guess that kind of makes sense. If, if I do the math right, it somebody was, was breaking was a, the law, but no, okay. No, I was a, a freshman and he was a junior. Mm-hmm, the math is still kind of... I said 25, 28. I no know, math I, is wrong. No, 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 what I'm saying is that means he's three years older than you. Correct. Right, so then when you were 16, he was already... You see where I'm going with this? Yeah. They be, they be, that's why I don't believe in co-ed schooling. That's why they got to separate boys and girls. Okay. They be setting the guys up because that's what the girls like. They said they setting us up, and we in the same environment. I see your point. Anyway, he better be careful with that. I he, see your point. Because there ain't no, they, they ain't no uh, a statue of limitation on that, so he, he, he better be careful. Okay, so how do you feel about marriage? Like, what is your views on marriage? I feel like marriage could be for some people, and it is just not for other people. I understand why people never get married. I understand why people get married. Okay, but how do you feel about marriage in relationship to children, though? I see why people get married because they have children, they do it for the kids and whatnot, mm -hmm. and a lot of people are lacking marriage for love and for the right reasonings. Do you have children? Doing, I don't. So how do you feel about single motherhood? Because that's obviously falls into the category of the people that you say marriage isn't for because they would have done it backwards. This conversation is not, N-O-T not, not, 100% directed towards black women. Are we clear? It is not 100% directed towards black women. That needs to be made abundantly clear before we get out of the gate. This is about single mothers primarily. Single mothers primarily. And what is a single mother? For the, for the sake of this discussion, a single mother is a woman who chose to have a child before she was married. That's a single mother. Really, we call those baby mamas. I feel like the single mother community is, is becoming more and more, the, the population is growing and growing and growing, mm -hmm. unfortunately. A woman who chose to have a child before she got married. And I think we can all agree that regardless as to what happens, a, a child does not get born unless a woman chooses to carry it to term. It is irrelevant that it takes two. And I don't think it's their choice either. Well, a lot of them. I don't wait, think it's their on, choice. On, a on, lot of on. men are making babies hold on. and they leaving mm -hmm. just because they're not liking the situation. Mm -hmm. Now I will segue to the black community. I will segue, there are people in the black community who firmly believe that in order to improve the black community, black men need, need, need to marry these the women who have children, single mothers. And I've listened to these points of view. And I, will, and I gotta say, they make no sense to me because asking a man who has not, who doesn't have children to marry a woman with children is fundamentally imbalanced. But let's start here. I am not talk, we are not talking about the notion that it takes two to tango. Remove that. When was that not a woman's choice? Like, it, where, how is that even possible? I don't think it's the woman's choice all the how? way. I feel like men are misleading. So basically you telling me if I go up to somebody, I say, hey, yo, let me get a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. And they'd be like, what you need it for? And you'd be like, oh, you know, I'm gonna go buy a Bible. Uh, also, uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a buy, I'm gonna buy a hundred dollars worth of Bibles. Okay. And then the person's like, oh, okay. Well, in that case, here's 125. Okay. Now, if I go and buy other things other than Bibles, I'm responsible for that person giving me $125? I mean, well, you didn't tell the truth. But it was hold on, misleading. hold on, hold on, but that's besides yeah. the, hold on, that's besides the point though. Okay. Because. It was still misleading. 
Yeah, you but, said that you was going to take $100. But listen to what I'm trying to say, though. I'm listening. They, okay, that, was, that was still their money, though, and they it gave was. it to me. Right. Regardless of what I told them, they right. gave it to me. Even, right. if, even if I said, I'm going to pay you back. Let's throw that in there, too. And I said I was going to pay him back. Okay. So it's still my fault that I not only didn't buy Bibles, but I didn't pay them back either. I guess it's not your fault because once you gave the money, it was... Once you gave the money away right. to the that, person... That's it that was person's decision. Day. Yeah. Which is why I can't just walk in a bank and be like, yo, let me hold, like, 50000 you yeah, they, but that they, bank they, is gonna want to know what you do with that money, though. Right, and but they that, gonna but come that, back but and that get tabs but on that what bank you did is with also, that money. They're also gonna run my credit. They are. Right, they're gonna make sure they have all my information. That's true. Right, and if I don't give them back their money, I'm in debt. Right. I'm supposed to pay them back by law. Right. So you see where I'm going with this? You saying that that the men are misleading, but. Are the women really doing what needs to be done to make sure that the guy's not misleading them? I'll give you an example. I don't know, maybe marriage? It's specifically childless men marrying mother, marrying single mothers. Now, in other conversations, single mother, women with children break into two categories. Single mothers, meaning women who were, ch women who were married, and then their children came as a result of a legal state-sponsored marriage. And then they divorced for whatever reason or were widowed. That is what most people refer to as a single mother. But a baby mama is a woman who had children without legal state sponsored marriage. But to keep the conversation on the rails tonight, I'm going to forego saying baby mama and we're going to say single mother only for tonight. Because this conversation needs to be had and it's already going to be emotionally charged. Why does it need to be had? Well, because one. 80% of the children in the black community are born outside of wedlock. And that number is skyrocketing in other communities, too. With a 51% divorce rate and women filing 70, 80% of divorces, uh, like it or not, there are, there are growing, growing numbers of women who are choosing to be single mothers. You're describing is men saying whatever they got to say to get the box. Mm -hmm. But then the question is, how the heck did she get pregnant? Because did he say he wanted a baby? Because if he didn't, well... She done messed up because she done she done was irresponsible with her womb. Mm -hmm. And if he did say that he wanted a baby, then her response should have been, okay, then when you marry me. Okay, but what is marriage justifying? Single mother, facts and statistics. Okay, this one's from the US Department of Health and Census. 63% of youth suicides are from fatherless homes. Okay, 63%. Okay, even they're trying to be politically correct, fatherless homes, single mother households, okay? This is five times the national average, FYI. Okay, it says right here, point blank, five times the national average. Next statistic, 90%, 90% of all homeless and runaway children are from fatherless homes, AKA single mother households. 32 times the national average, ladies, 32 times the national average. 85% of all children who show behavior disorders come from fatherless homes, aka single mother households. 20 times the national average. 80% of rapists with anger problems come from fatherless homes. 14 times the national average. 71% of all high school dropouts come from fatherless homes, aka single mother households. Nine times the national average. Children who are actually raised with fathers and not in single mother households are 40% less likely to repeat a grade in school, which means that if you come from a two parent household, you will likely not get held back. Marriage is a commitment. To what? Obviously to her and to, to the children. So what about divorce? That's not what we're talking about. We're not okay, talking. We're not talking. About, we're not talking about women that are, are that are raising their children alone because they got divorced. Single mother implies that she was never married. Okay. See where I'm going with this? I understand your point. So you can't say there. that the women didn't have choice when they have all the choice. They can deny the dude uh, the number. They can deny the dude the address. They can deny him a date. They can deny him a kiss. They can deny him sex, and they damn sure can deny him a baby. So they have all the choices as far as that's concerned, every last one of them. The only choice the man has is whether he going to stay. That's the choice the man has, if he's going to commit. It's really that simple. I, and like, I, See, this is the thing. Even women that don't have children will, ha will have the same answer that you had. So where does this idea that women are independent, they make all their choices, they do whatever they want, but then when it comes to consequences, all of a sudden, oh, no, 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 women didn't have the choice. Well, most men don't want to do that. Most men aren't there. Most men are dogs. That's most men that you're talking to. 
I have seen plenty of men who aren't like that. You probably need to reevaluate who you're trying to talk to, where you're trying to find these people, and what you're doing to attract them. I mean, if you put it out there for a man that he doesn't need to do anything for you, why would he? He's going to have sex with you and go about his damn business till he exactly. finds a girl that needs him. You're telling him you don't need him. Bingo. And I like that she's talking about holding self-accountability for the people you date or talk to. What she chose to do. Okay. That's a different choice. But maybe she choice. had a different version of what she thought that she was going to get. There's no other version than him getting down on one knee, putting a ring on it, and signing a contract with the state. Okay. And what he, can't, he, can't, he can't just walk away if he did that. Okay, but what happens after he gets married and he's still cheating on her? We're not talking about that, though. But I'm still saying, and even there, and even if we were single mothers with their marriages, he, even if every even day, if we though. were, even if we were, she still chose that dude. Address what I said. What about the single mothers that are in marriages? Life is full of risk, is what I'm trying to tell you. I don't know why women act like somehow this is different. Anytime it involves a man, women all of a sudden act like they don't have to take responsibility to agency. Anybody can make any decision. I'll give you an example. When a guy gets a bad result from a female, they quick to say that you chose the wrong female. But when a female get a bad response, it's always the guy's fault, every last time. Okay. So it's really that simple. I think the problem is women don't understand the weight and the gravitude of the decisions that they have. They don't understand the weight of being who decides who has children and who don't. That's a heavy responsibility. Mm -hmm. And they're not taking that into consideration. They just willy nilly with it. Why are you single? You're too pretty to be single. Why are you single? I'm single because I have five kids. I've just come to the conclusion. I'm done being single. Um, Stepdaddy applications now being accepted um, from anyone. Fuck it. If you can kill a spider, send me an application. You don't mind three kids send me an application i'm slightly crazy however and accepted i know i am not the only baby mom or single mother that is like how the did i get here like half the time i want to shoot myself in the face but i can't shoot myself in the face because i have a child but like really how did i get here to the point where i'm like this talking to y'all about my sad ass life let me tell you about these kids. I am a single mom of three teenagers. And I work my ass off. I work about 50 hours a week. Sometimes I've worked two, three, four jobs. I take care of my kids. And they don't understand what that mom goes through or that dad goes through that has nobody, that doesn't have another parent that steps in, that struggles to just make ends meet. Perfectly fine. I'm venting. I'm getting it off of my chest because y'all really expect moms to not be frustrated with screaming at their day and not being able to do nothing else in life because you have to think about your tiny humans first. Y'all really expect us to not be depressed and lost trying to figure out what the fuck Y'all make society makes being a mom ten times harder because we can't be mad, sad, or fucking. I don't give I'm tired. I am burnt on this shit. I'm burnt. I don't care. I, I'm, I'm burnt out. I'm burnt on all of it. On everything. I'm done. Is he tall? Is he cute? Did he pay for this? Did he pay for that? That's that's not what you need to be basing your decision on. Because these women nowadays, they don't base it on character. Because if you're talking about character, ain't nobody faking no character. You can't fake, right. you can't fake that. I agree with that. You understand what I'm saying? I so agree. they're obviously not doing a good job of um, choosing men, period. But you can't make a bad choice and then blame it on what you chose. It don't work that way. You can't have money to buy a car and you shop around for a car for one week, just pick a car and then it ain't what you wanted it to be, then you blame the car. You should have did more research. You should have consulted some people that are experts on cars. You see what I'm trying to say? Before you spent that, that money and made that commitment I to that car. Because once you got the baby, you got the baby. That's true. Right. All right. So we agree. On, we agree on that. I do agree so, on that. So, with that being said, is marriage in the in the future for you? I would say marriage is definitely in the future. Marriage for me. before children. Marry before you carry. Of course. So you agree with that? I agree with that. Why do you agree with that? I like the security of it. There you go. That's exactly what I'm trying to tell you. That's exactly what I'm trying to tell you because you're not trying to get caught out there struggling 
But I do understand. Baby by yourself. But I do understand there is still a risk within marriage as well. You still never fully know a person. Yeah, but that risk is a hell of a lot less than just having bastard children out of wedlock. That is true, but no disrespect to the people that do choose to do that with their lives. Everybody is on their own different life path. It's not a matter of respect or, or, or not respect because kids that grow up without a father, four times as much to be raised in poverty. Seven, time, seven times likely to be a teenage pregnancy victim. More likely to experience child abuse. That's normally because potentially the single mother, the co-parent has moved in another man into your domicile, into her domicile, okay? Behavioral problems, incarceration. They talk about mass incarceration. More likely to go to prison. The stat that I put in my second book, The Evolution, 73% of the prison inmates were raised in single parent households, primarily single mothers, okay? Child obesity. Are we seeing this today? Are we not seeing this, okay? Two times as likely to suffer from obesity. Why? Video games, social media, we're gonna get to that. Crime, more likely to be a criminal. Somebody said one time in the 80s, oh, the numbers of uh, the, the crime rate is going down, okay? While single parenthood was going up. They wanted an explanation, well, why is that happening? Okay, it's happening because they're all in jail, <laughs> right? Can't be out there committing crime when you're already locked up. Education, two times more likely to drop out. See this? Beta male energy right here. This is beta male energy, okay? And the media can get to your kids to incite you to do anything when you don't have an authority figure around. That decision not only affects that female, that guy, and those kids, that decision affects society. Yeah. So we, we over here acting like everything's on this individual basis. And this is a problem, women get all, you know, they get all sensitive and they take everything personal. It's like, it ain't even about you, boo. Okay, because that little nigga that you raising, when he go rob the liquor store, that's an issue for them. You understand what I'm trying to say? When he go make some more little bastard ass babies running around, that's an issue for the society. So it ain't, it ain't, it ain't just about you. When that, when that chick is out here scheming and scamming and she's stripping and she on OnlyFans and she doing all what she doing, she's affecting a lot of people, that little chick that you raised without a daddy. Mm -hmm. So. That's what I'm saying. The worst, the worst people in our society that, that cause the most issues, for some reason, they can all trace back to single motherhood. But we, but we ignore that. The women ignore the math. The only number they recognize is one. Just me, me, one. Yeah. But they don't look at that. They don't look at that math. Well, we're all products of our environment. That means that everybody from one environment would end up in jail. No, that's not, that's not what I'm saying. You say the products of the environment. That means if we all had similar environments, we would end up in the same place. Well, I'm, don't you think that most criminals come from the same no, environment? No, I think they're bad people. Really? Yes. Really? You wouldn't say that most criminals come no, from inner Joe city and lower right economic most environments? Most of them come from single mothers. Yeah. Oh, really? All right. Mm -hmm. All, All right, the single mothers. That's All true. Single mothers. Thank you. <laughs> See, we can agree on things. <laughs> yes. You know. And I think you'll agree on my other point, which is why this leads to my conclusion. Once you've committed a violent crime, let's say, I say death penalty. <laughs> why do we waste time with the prisons? I would give, this party won't agree with, I'll give Chuck Colson one year of prison ministries. If you can turn him into a Christian, they can go. Otherwise, death. Mm. Wow. Just but Christian, though, no other religion. What, like Muslim? <laughs> <laughs> well, like an actual religion. Judaism, yeah. Buddhism. Majority of high school dropouts raised by a single mom. Majority of inmates, single mom. Never own a home, single mom. Never went to college, single mom. Teen pregnancy, single mom. It's like, wait, time out. Those are all the worst case scenarios in society. And, and you mean they all come back to this one origin? That's what they all got in common? So shit, why don't we just tackle that one thing? But how do you tackle it if some men don't want to stay? Some it's not, men don't want to. It's not about you. Don't say, don't you want you, you understand what I'm trying to say? It's not about the men. It's about our picking and choosing. Exactly. It's not exactly. It's not about the men. A kid eating cake for dinner, not doing their homework, all this kind of stuff. You can't blame the kid. You gotta blame the parent. The parent the one making the choices. The parent go grocery shopping. The parent is supposed to be providing for the kid. So if the kid eating cake for for dinner, where the fuck they get cake from? So you can't say it's the men, it ain't the men nothing. It's the men these women choose. Mm -hmm. And not only that, even blaming the men still comes back to single motherhood. Because when the niggas ain't acting right, who raised you? Huh. Question answered. Question answered. You're making that face because you know it's true. I'm just thinking. The, sta the stand-up dudes who is responsible, the ones that are good leaders, those, those they be raised by good men. Yeah. So even when you trying to blame it on the men, Indirectly, you still blaming it on the women because that's who raised these motherfuckers every time. And I could promise you that. You know why? Because good men that was raised by their father, they got to answer to him. That's true. So when they're making those decisions, they can't just do it 
you see what I'm saying? They got to take into consideration. But my dad, though, my dad raised me better than this. And then my dad going to be disappointed or my dad going to have a talking with me. So that's what I'm saying. We have to be a little bit more honest because that attitude is why it continues to happen. Because women operate based on judgment. That's how women operate. They based on how they're treated in public. If a woman getting a bad response wearing what she wearing, she's going to stop wearing that. You see what I'm saying? If a woman get a lot of attention on social media for posting this type of picture, she gonna post more of that type of picture. That's how women operate, based on how people respond to them. I wouldn't say all women operate like that. Large majority of women, that's how they operate. And that's natural, there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying, they are very sensitive as far as judgment is concerned. So when we keep telling women that it's not their fault, and that they are proud, independent, strong, single mother. Yeah, so we were driving and I was looking on Instagram and you know, what have you, and I saw a lot of girls on Instagram, single mothers, who were kind of like, you know, flexing the whole fact that they're single mothers and they're doing it on their own and they don't need anybody else and da 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 this and that. They're providing for their child and they're so proud of themselves and you know, shout out to them, will need nobody, team, fuck you, I got me, team, pound sign, single baby mama, hold up, I got this shit though. Like I. Which is fine. Very, very fine. Like, I understand that, you know, being a single mother, in most cases, means that you do. You have to provide for your child. You have to be the mother and the father. You have to be that child support system, possibly for the rest of their lives. You have to prepare to be alone for the rest of your life, in some cases. But, my argument is, why do you have to flex this? Like, why do, maybe specifically black women, I don't see that many white women doing this, or no. women from other cultures doing this, but black women find the need to flex the fact that they're single mothers. You don't. You don't see uh, mothers from other races doing. Well, okay, I'll say it like this: it's it's a growing trend in America now, and, and that's a, and that's for all races. But it has been especially detrimental to. It has been especially destructive to the black community over the past forty or fifty years. We're we're we're, we're giving them validation for the wrong behavior, because think about a woman hearing that, and she don't have no kids. That means she don't know what being a mother's about till she already had kids. Then she's gonna be like, wait a minute, this ain't what they told me. Yeah, but it's too late now. Yeah. So we gotta give the right message is what I'm trying to say. But what about the people that are single mothers? You're not supposed to congratulate them? Uh, that's not a congratulation. What am I congratulating you for? I mean, they still got a life to live. You don't want them to live in a Yeah, a, but what what did you but what did you mindset. do? What did you do? Becoming a single mother, where's the difficulty in it? Where's the strategy? Where's the discipline? Where's the patience? So what do you want to do? Kick where's them the off the earth? Where's the glory? Do you want to kick them off the earth? That's like, not what I'm saying. You see, you, you, but I'm just saying you're you, saying you, we you're, shouldn't you're, congratulate them. You're, you're, Everybody deserves congratulations when they how, are doing how am I gonna, going beyond their means. How am I going to congratulate somebody when they didn't do anything to be congratulated? Well, what you're saying is that we're supposed to congratulate women for making their life more difficult and then dealing with it. That's like that's like a kid. That's a hell of a mouse. That's like a, that's like a kid over. spilling something, and I'm gonna congratulate the kid for cleaning up what they spilt. I'm not gonna congratulate them for that. Go bring me some A's on your report card. Okay, so what if the single mother kid bring you some A's on their report card? You gotta congratulate the mother for some type of. I gotta input congratulate in the mother for that. You should. You could. I should. It wouldn't be wrong because she was lucky. Okay, with that with that logic, then why are we not blaming her when that kid drops out of high school? I'm not saying that you couldn't. I'm not saying that you couldn't. I didn't say that you, you see, couldn't. You see what I'm saying? I didn't say that you couldn't. I do see what you're saying, though. Why are we not? Why are we but not? But that's not what we was talking about. Why are we though? not we condemning her when, her when her daughter is pregnant at 16? With, with your logic. Who says that they're not? We're, we're really not, though. We're really not. So that's what I'm saying. I, I would never. Th that is the problem right there, is that we're patting these women on the back for struggling to raise children on their own. We're actually congratulating them like they did something to be proud of. So why would we be giving them the type, that type of attention and validation when what we should be doing is congratulating the women that are getting married, which we don't. We might say congratulations on your, on your, your engagement, but we're not, we're not lifting them up. We're not, we're not validating that is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. This society validates single motherhood far more than women that are not sexually promiscuous and are saving themselves for marriage. We're not over here telling women, wow, you, you're an amazing wife, the way that you encourage and support your husband, the way you serve and cooperate. We're not, we're not congratulating that. It's the opposite. Oh, girl, you cooking for him? What you making him a sandwich for? Why are you giving his friends beers? They can get up and get their own drinks. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if something that needed to be done by a man, you would expect the guy to do it. And if he didn't, you would shame him.
-hmm. So, so, and now, as a result, that is what's starting to happen. Now when guys buy his girl flowers, oh, use a simp. Yeah. The girl, the guy open up the door for her, he go around, open up the car door for her, man, why you doing all that extra effort for her? You a simp. Mm -hmm. why, you, why you kissing her why ass? Why do you think that why, is? Why you sweating her? Why do you think that because is? Because it's a, it's a direct response to what the women have been getting. Mm -hmm. Everything got to have a balance. So when you see here and tell women, don't make him a sandwich, now, when a guy opens the door for that for that chick, now he just became a simp mm -hmm. because it's a one-way street. Mm -hmm. She she don't give a shit about him, but he over here doing all this extra gentleman stuff. It has to go both ways, right? So something I notice is you see women say, "Oh, chivalry's dead," because these men ain't this and these men ain't that. They ain't gentlemen. Yeah, but these women never seen how chivalry really used to operate. It never went just one way. It didn't. It was never just guys doing stuff for women. It was men out there working in the sun and then a woman seeing that and saying, girl, I'll be right back. Let me go get these guys some lemonade. Mm -hmm. And ain't near one of them her boyfriend or husband. But if she sees some men out there working hard and they don't, they're not even taking time to stop and hydrate themselves. So she's thinking, let me, you know what I'm saying? Let me run out here and get these guys some water. They out here in, in the hot ass sun sweating. The same way that when you see a woman struggling with something heavy, you say, oh, let me help, let me help you with that. Mm -hmm. Let me help you with that, miss. And it don't got nothing to do with trying to sleep with her. It don't got nothing. If you're helping an old lady across the street, what, 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 you trying to sleep with that old lady? No. No, but you see an old lady, she need help across the street. Right. So that's what I'm trying to say. It's supposed to go both ways. But we telling women, forget about these men and then worrying about why the men are like, what well, is shit? What I'm doing something nice for these ladies for? So it goes both ways. How many times do you think a guy held the door for a female and she just walked right past him? She didn't even say thank you, acknowledge him, nothing. I don't agree with that. That is disrespectful. So now after a while, a dude gonna be like, yo, why am I doing this? I know she's cute. Wrap it up. <laughs> That's the end point. Go ahead. What, what's your name? <laughs> what's your name? Miss Guys to go. Why you gotta why you gotta <laughs> do that though? That's not ladylike, be nice. Are you single? Are you single? No. That's how you treat your boyfriend? No, I'm nice to him. Why are you nice to him? Does he buy you pizza and stuff? Yes, he keeps me home. He keeps me full. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let these ladies go, man. I don't wanna hear it. Listen, I'm gonna congratulate you on the engagement. Thank you. I'm gonna give you. <laughs> Thank you. I like that type how, of how many, how many carrots you need? Uh, uh, I'm not. We had to go together. We can go together and pick it. Yes, yeah, wrong answer. You supposed what? to say you. I don't have. You supposed like to say a, I just want him. I don't I care about the ring. That's what I'm saying. You like, supposed I to say I'd rather a, he invested in the house. You did. You I'd rather he. I'd like rather he build a baby room with that money. He definitely gonna build a baby room. So. Is he mechanically? Can he, he do it on his own? He, do all he can that. build shit himself. He do. All right, she got the right one, baby. Uh huh. She, she don't even know that. She's too young for that. All right, we signing off. We out of here. Peace. My damn mic. Enjoy your pizza. Thank you. I always gonna be even better now that I had to wait for.